So over here, I'm going to go around and bring in a footage onto my timeline. And this is what you have, as you can see. Let's just go around and resize out this footage over here, just like this. And this is what you have. And if I were to go around and scroll down, you can see that canvas is an option. So canvas is the background. So whenever I work around with the video over here on the background, you can see that it is dark. That is because the canvas is set to none right here. Let me just go around and bring in another footage over here as well. So over here for this particular footage, I can set the canvas to let's say blur right here. And what you can do is you can select the amount of blur and you can see that the background fills up right here, just like this. So especially when you want to show low resolution footages and you don't want the background to be uh, empty, you can utilize the blur effect right here, just like this. But if I were to go around onto this particular video, then you don't have this particular canvas effect anymore. If you want to make sure that all of the footages in your timeline has the same effect right here, then what you can do is you can go around over here and uh, go around onto canvas right here and click on apply to all. And then it gets applied to all as you can see just like this. And the background has blur out option right here. So now what you can do is you can disable the canvas altogether as well, or you can go around and choose color for the canvas as well and choose out the color that you want just like this. So apart from that, you can go around onto style as well and select out different styles of canvas over here as well, just like this, instead of having a blurred out video right here. So the uh, video uh, blur out is over here in other footages. And if you want to apply the same style, simply click on apply to all and the same will be applied to all the footages in the timeline, just like that. And that is how you can work around with the canvas option inside of CapCut desktop editor. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe. <laughs>